This Holy Quran has been revealed to the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, containing mercy and illumination for all mankind, an ultimate guide for humanity in the present life. It has addressed the most specific details in the interest of improving human relations and the well-being of the human being on the personal level. It is the word of Allah the Almighty, the most great in transcendence, safe and clear from any distortion, error or human tampering whatsoever. Everything therein is true and truthful. Muslims worldwide worship their Lord by reciting, contemplating and discovering its meanings and secrets. It has been communicated to us in the Arabic language, the language of Quraysh, the tribe of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, as an honor for the Arab nation, transmitted by generations ever since it was revealed 14 centuries ago. It complements and corroborates what has been sent to previous prophets, such as Jesus and Moses, May peace and blessings be upon them both. As they have been sent with the Gospel and the Torah, carrying glad tidings and the religion of truth. For centuries, Muslims have consistently sought remedy from the Holy Quran wherever and whenever they suffered from any disease or illness. They did this according to the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him's instruction that this Holy Quran will benefit them in times of health and illness. And it is a mercy for the physical, psychological and spiritual aspects of the human condition. It is important to note that benefiting from the Holy Quran is not only restricted to the case of Muslim patients, Many reported stories and occasions indicate that non-Muslims who have been treated by the Holy Quran have either improved or recovered entirely from their illness. In fact, this practice of healing has come to be known under the notion of behavioral and cognitive psychotherapy, a recent scientific approach. It is worth mentioning that the first scientific study to employ religion in the practice of behavioral cognitive psychotherapy has come out in 1992. In this study, two samples of depressed Christian patients were compared. One sample was subjected to traditional behavioral cognitive therapy, while the other was subjected to the same kind of therapy, but this time with a religious content. The results were notably positive in the case of the latter sample. A similar study was repeated with Muslim patients from Malaysia and was conducted and published by Al-Azhar University in 1994. This was then followed by a number of similar studies in the same direction. And now it is acknowledged that religious cognitive behavioral therapy has established itself as a relatively contemporary approach in psychotherapy. Raja Gopal et al. 2002 The philosophy underlying this approach rests on the fact that by using the beliefs and religious texts highly admired by the patient, the false beliefs contributing to the perpetuation of the patient's disease are more likely to disappear or become rectified. It is worth noting that research is more active studying the effects of the religious content of Judeo-Christian scriptures, but still in its infancy with regards to Islam's most important book, the Holy Quran. However, a number of experiments have begun to reveal the positive impact of reading the Holy Quran on people's recovery from physical and psychological illnesses. Here is a selection of the Quranic verses and reported supplications attributed 
to the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Recited to you by Sheikh Rashid Hadi Al Kahdani. Let us all listen attentively to this recitation so that we may benefit from its remarkable effect. Scripts from the Holy Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من الذي يشفع إنه إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء إلا بما شاء وسع كرسي السماوات والأرض وسع كرسي السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما ولا يؤده حفظهما ولا يؤده حفظهما ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم ولولا دخلت جنتك قلت ما شاء الله قلت ما شاء الله قلت ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله لا قوة إلا بالله لا قوة إلا بالله إن ترني أنا أقل منك أنا أقل منك أنا أقل منك أنا أقل منك مالا وولدا أنا أقل منك مالا وولدا أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أم يحسدون الناس أم يحسدون الناس على ما آتاهم الله من فضله أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم ود كثير من أهل الكتاب لو يردونكم لو يردونكم من بعد إيمانكم كفارا حسدا من عند أنفسهم حسدا من عند أنفسهم من بعد ما تبين لهم الحق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس 
بكلمات الله التامة من كل شيطان وهام ومن كل عين لام ومن كل عين لام فهو رب الناس مذهب الباس لا شفاء إلا شفاءه شفاء لا يغادر لا يغادر سقما